we're going to sow some seeds today. And we're going to point out what type of seeds you want to look for when we go to sow our seeds for our vegetable garden. Here we have two packets of seeds. They otherwise look the same, but you'll notice this variety says hybrid at the top. Well, if we're going to do an old-fashioned victory garden, we don't want these. We want these. Why? We want these because we can take some of the finished product and harvest seeds from them, dry them, and store them to make seed for next year. So we don't have to come back and buy them. Now, making your own seed is not a big deal. There's some very basic supplies you need to do it, and we'll cover that later on in, in uh, our series. But we want to get the traditional heirloom varieties of our vegetables and fruits. If the flow of commerce was ever interrupted for any reason, well, hybrids taste good. They cook just as well. But the problem is, you can't harvest seed from these to grow crop next year. They're not going to do you any good. Hybrid seeds are almost entirely sterile. So, look for your heirloom varieties. Forget about hybrids. Good morning. Yeah. We're going to do the dirty seeds. Oh, dirty seeds. Dirty seeds? Dirty seeds. Dirty seeds. It's all right, though. I'm waiting for Don to come back in. What you got there, Pook? I have seed starter plant. I thought you yeah, were going to go get the seeds. Seed starters. <laughs> seed starters. Yay. Look at that. What do you need those for? To start seeds. Start seeds. Hey, what are we going to do today? Start seeds. All right. Good job. All right. Off to the greenhouse we go. Wow. We've got a lot of stuff potted up here already. And that is Dougie Potter. Dougie Potter did this. Okay, here's what we've got. We're going to start some seeds today. It's still a little early up here, but being that it's about 70 degrees today and it's only March 8th, um, we're, we're, getting, we're getting a little itchy. Now some of the stuff that we're going to start today, you probably wouldn't want to start this early in the season up north here. Down south, you probably could start these this early. What we're using here, this right here is ProMix. Um, this is a very uh, large, it's like a commercial size um, potting mix, and you will not find this at your local depot marts. They don't carry products like this. You're going to have to go to an independent garden center or a nursery supplier. Um, this mix right here, basically we've gone over the soil mixes before. This is pretty much all set. It's got peat moss, perlite, vermiculite, soils, um, a wetting agent so that this way the, it's very easy to water um, and hold water and it's pretty much it's raring to go. Um, we're going to do a, up seeds a couple of ways. You know, one, we just have like these little seed starting trays. These are basically just like the trays that we got our perennials in and pretty much just scoop them in, fill them up. When the seeds are ready to go with these, they just pop up out of the bottom and you can plant them, plant the plugs right out into your garden. The other way that we're going to do it today is with these little peat cups. And the way these little guys work right here, these are great, especially uh, teachers in school and stuff like that if they want to do projects with the kids. These are very inexpensive. They're about uh, seven, eight cents a piece. Just fill them up with soil, and we're using some leftover carrier trays from last year because they won't tip over. The, the pots are a little bit smaller than the size of the, the carrier here, but this way they won't tip over. So when we're watering them and stuff like that, they're not going to fall over and uh, make a mess. And upcoming, if everything works out well, we are going to be visiting um, our local um, wholesale grower to not only look at their growing operation but to check out a brand new state-of-the-art going green basically it is a wood furnace and chipping operation and I say operation because 
they are heating five acres of greenhouse with this wood chipper and furnace uh, unit that they've recently put in. Now you mentioned that uh, this Promix is something that you find in real garden centers. Yes. What is the essential difference between it and the mix that we make ourselves here to pot up our our bulbs and and tubers and cuttings? Well, the biggest difference in the mix. Uh, this is a lot finer. This is specifically designed for starting seeds. The stuff that we make up ourselves um, is basically we are repotting bare root perennials, and we are going to be potting up very soon trees and shrubs and berry bushes and we can use a much coarser mix if you take a look at our mix and you take a look at their mix let me zoom up theirs, on that theirs is a lot finer than ours our mix contains we have some straw pellets in here we have some bark um, I mean you see some twigs and stuff like that because we're dealing with stuff with much bigger roots this stuff here is specifically designed to allow seeds and young seedlings to get very fast, strong root development. It's very light, it's very airy. You can use this for just about any type of seed from the smallest seeds, uh, from carrots and stuff like that, all the way up to a lot of your larger seeds, like Angie right here has got some nasturtiums. Nasturtiums basically are an old fashioned, um, a viney flower but uh, in, and now we're getting into all the stuff that you always like to ask us about. Yes, they do have some nutritive value. And yes, people do use nasturtiums in salads and stuff like that. You can actually eat the flowers. So you mentioned that it's a little early to actually be starting these in this part of the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, today it's probably going to be close to 70 degrees outside. But being it is only March 8th we are most likely going to get snowfall here. They're talking snow next week. Yeah. Now in our local area, we would not have. put something like this outdoors in our garden until Memorial Day weekend, correct? Uh, the first week of June would be su sufficient. First week yeah. of June, wow, that sounds awful late. Yeah, well it depends on the season. Last year we had our last frost here was June 6th. Very short growing season up here in the hills. Ready. Here we go. Okay, Angie. Now we're going to be doing we're going to be doing some cukes, some pickling cukes. Now, very productive. Um, this is one of the crops that up here in the north you probably wouldn't want to do this early, but you know because um, they don't take very long to germinate. These guys will be up probably by next weekend already. But it's one of these things that uh, we can always pot these up into larger pots. And a lot of people will use these for container gardening right on their deck because especially being that these are pickling cukes they don't take up nearly as much room and if you have a fairly decent sized container um, you can put these on your deck and keep them in a nice uh, you know sunny area and they will produce cucumbers all season long for you and you know later on in the season we'll get into pickling some of these guys so how many seeds do you place in each cell two to three Two to three seeds in each cell. Now getting back to like our container gardening. Yeah, you know, here's a oh regular. Boy, one. that's that's a good sized container yeah. right there. Now basically you could take something like that and later on when, when these cells grow with these cucumbers in it, you put like just three of those plugs in a container that size. I mean and that's a that's a large container. But you put cucumbers in something like that, as long as you keep it well watered give it a little fertilizer every now and then, you will have cucumbers all season long. Now vegetables like sunlight. They definitely like sunlight. Anything... So you can't place that in a shady area? No. 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 You have to at least have no. four to five hours of direct sunlight. Um, by next week we should have a little bit of everything to show you. Maybe potatoes, maybe the onion seeds, so and so forth. It's more or less on how does your garden grow. And needless to say, I believe that Jim making faces behind Don is so awesome. I just got to let you know. Thanks for the improvement. Anyway, needless to say, um, stay tuned for next week. Yeah.